This is a review of the KJV Wedding Bible from Cambridge University Press. The Cambridge Wedding Bible makes an exquisite gift for brides and bridal parties. It also includes optional presentation pages to personalize a gift or commemorate numerous occasions, including christenings, confirmations, or other special occasions. Containing a unique set of alternative gift certificates for each event, the Cambridge Wedding Bible is truly the finest and most versatile KJV Bible available in a white color option. The French Morocco leather edition that you see here features silver page edges and cover blocking on the font and spine of the Bible and a white satin ribbon marker, while the imitation leather edition, which is not shown, features gold page edges and cover blocking and font on the spine and a white satin ribbon marker as well. Both are packaged in a simple yet elegant slipcase that you see here on the left. Special features include an expanded Bible word list, 40 illustrations of biblical objects and activities, including coins, flora, and fauna, as well as a two-year Bible reading plan. So again, this is the French Morocco leather edition that we're seeing here on the right. And you can see here, uh, it's a beautiful white Bible, of course, and there are those silver page edges. You can really get the reflection there, the light, and see how bright and beautiful those are. And then, of course, that cover blocking, uh, that's kind of a UK term and a Cambridge term. It's just referring to the Holy Bible there. And then, of course, the Holy Bible on the spine, King James Version. And then your Cambridge logo down there at the bottom. That's what they're saying, cover blocking and the Holy Bible. Just saying that that is also in silver to match the page edges of that Bible. And, of course, when we offer our personalization, typically that's going to be at the uh, bottom right-hand corner of the front cover. And we would do that, of course, on this French Morocco leather edition in silver to match the page edging and, of course, the cover blocking on that Bible. And then on the imitation leather edition that's not shown, of course, it is gold, gold printing on the front and gold page edges. We would do the name and printing on gold to match that one. So we're seeing here, of course, it has this satin ribbon marker. Um, there's kind of the, you can kind of see it coming out of the bottom there, which is uh, definitely beautiful and a nice little feature. And of course, we're gonna be seeing these head and tail bands. That's kind of referring to that, uh, there's the head and tail band right there that you can kind of see. And of course, this, this is a loose back binding style whenever you see that gap, that slight gap there in between the book block, which is the printed pages and the actual outside leather cover. Again, that's absolutely done on purpose. That's gonna be done as you're gonna to see to give the Bible flexibility. Uh, and help it certainly roll up and, and be more flexible and, uh, and last longer. Essentially, it's going to put less stress on that binding. Um, so we're going to take a little closer look at the inside features, see that Smithstone binding. Um, but again, this is also the slip cover that it comes with. Cambridge Bibles, it's the Wedding Bible, of course, King James Version, Wedding Bible King James Version from Cambridge. And we're seeing here on the back some of the features and things that we've already mentioned. Of course, this one, again, the French Morocco Leather Edition. There's an example of the text there. It's a seven point font from Cambridge, which it's not giant, but it's certainly not bad on such a compact size Bible. And we're gonna take a little bit closer look here. So when this KJV wedding Bible from Cambridge arrives at your doorstep and then the shipping box, of course, it's going to come packaged like so, again, in its slip cover. And you can see here that essentially that will just, that will just slide right out there, of course. And then we get the actual Bible itself. First thing that we like to typically go over is the size of this Bible. It's definitely compact, so you're gonna get four and one fourth inches across. It's about six inches tall, and then it's about one and one fourth inch thick. Uh, so that's certainly a compact size, basically a pocket size, uh, definitely very lightweight, uh, easy to carry. So literally a bride, if she wanted to on her wedding day, which we know many that do, uh, wanted to carry a Bible with them down the aisle, this is certainly an excellent option, but as we're also going to see, the beauty of the Wedding Bible is it's not just for weddings. It's certainly, uh, that's probably the most common thing and popular thing, but you're going to see that this can be used basically as just a really good gift Bible for someone that wants a white Bible. So again, this is the French Morocco Leather Edition, and of course we're seeing that cover there, and we're actually going to get in here and see that once we open, you're going to start seeing these several different individual certificates as we're seeing one here on Cambridge Bibles. There's one that you could do for confirmation. Here's one for holy matrimony. And this one is just a, a christening gift. 
and there's even just a blank page that we're gonna see. So if you wanted to just write in kind of your own inscription or your own personalization, you kind of have a space to do that here on this Bible. The first little card or certificate we see in the inside of this KJV Wedding Bible is this information about Cambridge Bibles. And of course, four centuries of craftsmanship. It says Cambridge University Press is the oldest printer and publisher in the world. The press's first Bible printed in 1591 was an edition of the Geneva Bible, the translation that crossed to America with the Pilgrim Fathers, and this established an unbroken 400-year tradition of printing and publishing the Bible. And Cambridge University Press remains committed to the highest standards of printing and binding. The University Printing House in Cambridge is unique in being able to trace its history back to a period close to the very beginnings of movable type. Pretty impressive. Today, its sheet-fed machines continue to produce the very best Bible printing. Cambridge's finest Bibles are bound in leather, the material traditionally chosen for the most highly esteemed books. Not only does leather look, smell, and feel beautiful, but it also offers the best protection for important texts. So there's your blurb about Cambridge University Press, and certainly, of course, we're going to see that this wedding Bible and the French Morocco leather is a good example of that. Pretty cool that you can essentially own a Bible from the world's oldest publisher of King James Version Bibles. Then we see this wedding certificate, one of the options of the certificates here. And to certify that, basically you can put the husband and wife's names there. We're united in holy matrimony, you can put the location of the service, put the date, the minister has a place to write his name in or have him sign it, and then of course any witnesses. Similar certificate here, only for confirmations. And finally, we have a certificate for a christening gift, or we also might say a baby dedication. And there's a place there to write the child's name, and then of course for the minister to sign. This fourth and final certificate at the front of the KJV Wedding Bible is just a blank presentation certificate or page. And basically just completely blank, so you can write in the name, any kind of personalization message you'd like from there. Happy birthday, happy anniversary, etc. Shows the versatility of this Bible. Then we get to the inside of the Bible. We showed those four certificates there for the Cambridge Bibles and the various occasions and gift certificates that it can be used with. We can see here in the bottom inside cover of the leather where it says the French Morocco leather. So you know it's a French Morocco leather binding. And again, here is that blank space so you can kind of write in your own personalization message or if it's something other than a christening slash baby dedication, confirmation, or a wedding, you can essentially just write that in right there. Then we get to the title page, the Holy Bible, Old and New Testaments, Cambridge University Press at the bottom there. Then we get a little wider angle shot here, and you're seeing the copyright page on the left and the beginning to the epistle dedicatory or translator's preface to King James on the right. And we're seeing here Cambridge University Press, of course, and that that is located in the Edinburgh building in Cambridge, UK. Uh, that's about, uh, that's a little bit northeast of the London area. And it says, this is interesting here, writes in the authorized, in parentheses, King James. I like that, that's accurate. So writes in the authorized, parentheses, King James version of the Bible are vested in the crown. And you can see this symbol here, uh, a lion here, and essentially looks like a unicorn there. It says, this Bible is published by Cambridge University Press, the Queen's Printer under Royal Letters Patent and writes in the authorized King James Version of the Bible are administered in the United Kingdom by the Crown's patentee, Cambridge University Press. And essentially it's talking about, uh, a lot of people may be curious by that because uh, it's common knowledge that the King James Version or authorized version is known as public domain and no longer under copyright. Well, uh, that's essentially only true in America, in the States. Uh, in the United Kingdom, there is still licensing going on and there still are, are copyrights held. So you'll see this one here on Cambridge Bibles, and then you'll also see a license on some of the R.L. Allen Bibles that we have as well. So kind of interesting little tidbit there. And again, then we get the translator's preface to King James on the right. It's kind of nice to see that. It's also known as the Epistle Dedicatory, which we'll see on the next page. So here is that back page, Epistle Dedicatory. You're seeing that the translators essentially close out their letter to King James. The Lord of heaven and earth, bless your majesty with many and happy days, that as his heavenly hand hath enriched your highness with many singular and extraordinary graces, so you may be the wonder of the world in this latter age for happiness and true felicity to the honor of that great God and the good of his church through Jesus Christ our Lord and only Savior. 
And on this wide angle shot here, we're seeing that as the epistle dedicatory ends, we get a listing of the books of the Bible, of course, and then it starts with Genesis chapter one on the right. So we're gonna focus in here on Genesis chapter one. As we get a little bit closer here, we see the first book of Moses called Genesis. In chapter one, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Notice how that S in spirit is capitalized. Always like to show that verse, also like always like to show that capitalization. When you see that S in spirit capitalized, referring to the deity, of course, of, of Christ and, and of God and the Trinity, uh, we believe that should be capitalized in English. Uh, original Hebrew and Greek, there really was not capitalization, but in English, it's nice to see that capitalized S in spirit. And that's a good start for the trustworthiness of this KJV Cambridge text, of course, in this Cambridge Wedding Bible. As we're getting a wider shot here, we've turned the page to Genesis chapter 2 and 3, and we're seeing here again, this is a size 7 font from Cambridge. That, again, certainly is not gigantic, um, but it is very clear on the page. The quality of the printing is good. Fully zoomed out here, wide angle shot. You can still read Genesis 3.8 down there. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. And we're also starting to see here, again, we're going to start seeing these topical subheadings at the top of the page, which is another nice feature of this Bible, along with its compact carrying size, really nice white leather cover, silver page edges, and of course, a readable seven point font. We see here at the top of Genesis two, that topical subheading says, God's commandment to Adam. One page over at Genesis three, we see the serpent deceiveth Eve. In Genesis chapter four, five, and six, we see the murder of Abel and the genealogy of the patriarchs as the topical subheadings. As we continue on in the KJV wedding Bible from Cambridge, find it very appropriate to look at Proverbs chapter 31, which we know is the chapter in the Bible that talks about the virtuous woman. It's talking about the need for a good godly woman as your wife. Here in Proverbs 31 verse number 10, we see who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Then we get to the New Testament and see 2 Timothy in chapter number 3. And appropriately here in 2 Timothy chapter 3, it's actually kind of a clear example where you can see that Smithsone binding. You have to get really close there. You can kind of see the evidence. See the thread that's going through the pages right there. You can kind of see those there. Uh, there's more right there. There's the threading. There's that threading. Again, Smith's sewn or Smythe's sewn, that's where, of course, the pages are sewn into the binding. It's going to help the Bibles. It's going to keep the pages from falling out. It's also going to make it more flexible. And again, now we're going to take a closer look at 2 Timothy chapter 3. Specifically, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, Truly furnished unto all good works. T-H-R-O-U-G-H-L-Y. Another example of this being an excellent quality KJV Cambridge text. That's the accurate spelling of truly there. Then we get here to 1 John chapter 5. And we're focusing in on verses number 7 and 8 a little further down the page. We see in verse 7, For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. And there are three that bear witness in earth, the Spirit and the water and the blood, and these three agree in one. Nice to see that capitalized S in spirit. A lot of people say, oh, well, which Cambridge text is this? <clears throat> What's going on with this Cambridge KJV wedding Bible? Well, we see that capitalized S in spirit, 1 John 5, 8. Um, we believe that's accurate. That is referring to the spirit of God, that is deity. Uh, we like seeing that capitalized in an English, of course, King James Version. As we get to the back of the KJV Wedding Bible from Cambridge University Press, we're seeing here Revelation chapter 22, and of course the last verse in the Bible, Revelation 22, 21. And then immediately it gets into the back of the Bible features, which we're seeing here is this expanded Bible word list on the page on the right. We see that the expanded Bible word list is kind of similar to a concordance. It says, this list gives brief explanations of words in the authorized version. Notice they call it just the authorized version as it was in 1611. They don't say King James Version there. Describing unfamiliar objects, animals, and plants 
weights, measures, and money, and words no longer in everyday use or now used with a different meaning. If the English word is used in more than one sense or stands for more than one Hebrew or Greek word, the list refers to passages where the word is used with each meaning. In most cases, the list gives all the places where the word is found. An asterisk means that the word is used in other passages with its normal meaning. So an example down here, there's a base, and we see one of those stars or asterisks, and we're seeing that that means humble or humiliate or cast down. And it gives two references there, Job 40, 11, and Philemon 4, 12. We see abjects. Abjects is the lowest or outcast. So if you're an abject, you're an outcast. That's in Psalm 35, 15. We see abroad. Abroad means away from the house or, or of course, not at home. Uh, you're abroad. You're studying abroad or traveling abroad. You see 1 Samuel 9, 26 there. And over a wide area is Mark chapter 1, verse 28. After the expanded Bible word list or concordance, we see our first examples of those 40 illustrations of biblical objects and activities, including coins, flora, and fauna. And specifically here, we're going to see this is an example of a thorn. Uh, that is a myrtle at the top right. And really cool here, this is myrrh. Myrrh, and that's a frankincense tree. We, of course, know that those are the wise men from the east uh, essentially brought gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Well, now we can kind of see an example. That's what that looks like. On the next page, we see dates at the top, and then a cypress or cypress tree or bush. We see the sycamore, and we're seeing mustard. Of course, we know the faith of a grain of mustard seed. Uh, there's an olive tree, which is another, of course, parable uh, that Christ talks about in the Gospels and then the millet. Then examples of some of these animals. We see the turtle dove, the kite, the Egyptian vulture there on the left, a pelican. Of course, there's a heron, a griffin vulture, a kestrel, and then a stork. In the final page of those 40 illustrations, we're seeing some examples of the coins or money or currency in the time of the Bible and, of course, the time of Christ. And then we're going to see the beginning of this Bible reading calendar or reading plan at the, at the top right. It says this is a concise course whereby one can read through the whole Bible once in two years, the Psalms and the New Testament twice. And we see the example here of what to do in the first year and how it synchronizes with the calendar. So we see on January 1st, very simply, you read Genesis 1 and Matthew 1. On January 2nd, you read Genesis 2 and Matthew 2. And similarly here in February, February 1st, you'd be up to reading Genesis 33 and Mark 4. February 2nd, Genesis 34 and Mark 5. So there you have it. That is the KJV Wedding Bible from Cambridge or Cambridge University Press. Of course, King James Version. Once again, beautiful white French Morocco leather here. The nice slip case that it comes with. This Bible, of course, uh, in the French Morocco has the silver page edges, has the white satin ribbon marker. When we do the personalization, which of course you don't want to forget to personalize it, we would do that also in the silver to match the page edges. We do it in gold to match the page edges on the imitation leather edition, not sewn, uh, not shown. And again, really just a beautiful Bible. Uh, the leather is very thick and substantial. You can kind of get an idea there. It has, it's very versatile. Again, not only for weddings and brides, can really be given for a number of occasions. And those little uh, mini certificates that it comes with, of course, uh, that you see here in comparison to the size of the Bible, make it versatile as well. So for a confirmation, for a christening, or a blank example as well, as you can see there. So really versatile. Uh, again, has some nice useful features as well. It's a very compact size, four and a fourth by six, only about uh, an inch and a fourth thick. It has Smithstone pages for extreme flexibility. Of course, the individual certificates we mentioned there, the translator's preface to King James or the epistle dedicatory has the very helpful topical subheadings at the top of the pages. So you can see kind of what you're reading about there. It has the, at the back of the Bible, the expanded Bible word list, the two-year Bible reading plan, and 40 illustrations of biblical objects. And again, we know it also has a pure KJV text, a very trustworthy Cambridge text, as we showed on the several verse examples there. Um, but there you have it. This really is basically it's the best quality Bible you can get in the white option, a white color. Um, it really is just a great gift and anyone would be proud to own it. So we do hope you enjoyed this review of the KJV Wedding Bible from Cambridge. From the number one source for all things KJV, thank you for watching and we look forward to sending you one soon.